We're here with Seagal Samuel. This is her first ever American book signing at BEA. How does it feel? Thrilling, surreal, amazing. The Mystics of Mile End is about a dysfunctional Jewish family living in the Mile End, a really quirky neighborhood of Montreal that is a mashup of Hasidic Jews and hipsters. And it's about what happens when a family becomes obsessed with climbing the Kabbalah's tree of life as a way to reach God. This uh, idea is known for being liable to make you a little bit insane, a little bit obsessed, can even lead to death. So some tragic things happen and then everyone in the neighborhood has to sort of try and pick up the pieces. Well, what I love about this cover, which aside from its vibrancy, which is eye-catching, it's actually in the style of medieval uh, illustrations of the Kabbalistic tree of life. There's quite some mystery uh, in the Jewish tradition as to what fruit might have been on the tree of knowledge as well as the tree of life. And one character, I won't tell you quite who, decides that it's probably lemons because sometimes revelation can be bitter. Tell us about working on your first ever work of literary fiction as one of the editors of the book. It was really, really exciting. We, I think kind of the best part is I've seen literally from day one the whole process from getting the, the manuscript in to then working on the editing process to now Seagal signing her first books, which is just a really wonderful thing to see. Do you have a particular character in this book that you feel most affectionate, or most affection for? I think that Lev is an especially great and unique character, especially starting out the book with an 11-year-old mind. It's just such an exciting thing and something that I don't think we necessarily always get in an adult literary novel, and I think it's fantastic. And he just is a great character with a lot of love, a lot of heart, and kind of a lot of quirkiness, which a lot of the characters in The Mystics of My Land have.